Why did the Karen scream at the cashier that buying bulk items should decrease the total price? Well, it's because she's trying to get a volume discount. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> and yet I'm laughing. <laughs> Welcome to Completely Stupid, the show about stupid people doing completely stupid things. That's not funny. <laughs> Let's get into the clips. This one's a bit of a doozy. Basically, a customer has made an order for a very interesting sandwich type. A mix, a half cold veggie sandwich and a half hot chicken. Something that is, well, difficult to say the least. But here's an interesting one. We've also got a clip from the past, the supposed customer who was wronged, quote unquote, in this situation. And then we've got a second clip from the person who was working that day. Let it roll. Just want a regular chicken sandwich. But I can't do half of it with You don't have to. So you just want a chicken sandwich? Yes. All right. Do you want the onions and peppers in it? Yes. Please leave. I'm not making your sandwich. I'm refusing your service now. Why are you not making Please. a sandwich? Because you're act you're acting like I'm stupid. So I am asking you to leave. I'm refusing your service now. I would appreciate it if you left my building. Call the police. Then. I will call the cops on you. Okay. I will do it. I'll wait here to just to find no, out. You if can wait outside. Well, I'll wait you here. You can wait outside. I'll wait here. I'm asking you to leave my building because you're treating me like garbage. So I need you to leave. You like garbage. Oh my god, I need you to please. I'm just saying okay. Please. If you're saying okay, then please get out of my building. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm literally having on recording this, what she said. I was talking to him. I can refuse service to anybody, so I'm going to need you to. Where does it say that at? It says that in my handbook, so please. Can you show me that? No. Okay, well, call the police. Ma'am, get out of my building. No, because I'm going to report you for this. For what? Be refusing service to me because I asked for a sandwich. You asked for something that I cannot make you, and then when I... I said I, out, said I wanted a chicken sandwich. I asked for a chicken sandwich. I still keep asking please, for a chicken please, sandwich. I'm not making it. I thought that we've been through this. May you please exit my building? I'm waiting for the police. I haven't called them. Because I'm going to sue you for oh, mistreating okay. me. Oh. Yes, I am. Okay, yes, ma'am. Lady comes in. She's like, can I get a chicken sandwich? I said, yes, ma'am. Can I get a regular size sandwich? She wants half of a cold veggie and half of a hot chicken. I obviously can't do that. I can't even do that as a giant, let alone a regular size sandwich. I tried explaining to her several, several, several times. There's like probably like three to five minutes of context before that video even starts. And she just was not understanding me at all. She pulled out the phone, started recording me. And by that time I was just, so fed up but I really tried hard to keep my composure um and I I still continued to try to explain that I couldn't do that but I was more than happy to make her one or the other or both but I would have to charge her for two regulars or one regular one mini whatever whatever she wanted and uh she proceeded to get pretty belligerent with me and um yeah I refused her service and but there's no way I'm gonna let somebody talk to me like that. And um, for everybody saying that I needed a raise and a promotion, thanks, I got one about a year ago. I am now the general manager. So uh, yeah, if you happen to be near my location, please stop in and grab a sandwich. I mean, I always automatically assume that most people who are recording incidents uh, of are probably leaving certain things out of context or not involved in the situation. If someone's recording a different, like whenever they're recording themselves in an incident, I don't personally go straight on to believing what they're saying. I always think there's something more behind it. And here's a clear example of that. If it's someone, an, a spectator recording two people arguing, then I'm more likely 
to believe what I'm seeing because it's less likely that things have been cut out of context and things along those lines. Because it sounds like from the employee here that the Karen was recording for a good bit leading into where the clip actually starts. And of course, they only whipped out their phone to start recording when they weren't getting what they want, which is just funny. It's almost like it's always the Karen behind the camera, never on the other side of it. In this next clip here, we've got a guy who is so desperate to make his complaint about the bad customer service, he's willing to cut off another person who's currently trying to make their order in order to make the complaint. And when they get pointed out to by doing that from the woman themselves, he decides to do the lamest excuse of, uh, I don't fight, I don't argue with women. Here's a clip. I think it goes without saying the caption is not mine. It's a bit of a interesting one to say the least. A, a touch racist, maybe. <laughs> anyway. What an absolute cop-out from this guy. It's just like, oh, the second he realizes, oh, I've done something silly here, rather than addressing the problem, he's just like, no, I, I don't fight, with, I don't argue with me. my wife's over there, I don't argue with her, you know, I'll get her in here to do my fight for me. Whatever crap he was saying, I kind of stopped paying attention when he started saying stupid shit like that like it, it's just one of those things where it's like if you do something stupid in a situation where you're clearly in the wrong and your point is to say it's to do something sexist by saying oh i don't argue with women it's just like it doesn't make you act it doesn't make you out to be a high and mighty guy like you think it does it just makes you out to be more of a dickhead than what you already were. Like, you're so... You feel like you're so self-important that you got to make your complaint first, even though there's someone clearly making an order at the register when you get there, but you're still just like, screw it, I'm going to do it anyway. I hate you, get out of my way. I, I'm more important, i got to make my complaint. Here we got a lady doing her shopping late at night who's gotten in a casual argument or is going off for one of the registered ladies. Anyway, another another staff in the store decides to uh, defend the other employee and starts talking to the customer. And the customer is not happy with that, so starts screaming and shouting and letting it all out. <laughs> Shut the f*** up! You not gonna change my boy, sir! Yeah, so shut the It's 9.53 by the way. And I'm not. 9.53 at night. I don't gotta talk to you. Yeah, you're talking amongst us. No, so I'm talking to her. And when I was talking to her, my voice was down. You seemed intoxicated. Who the f*** is you? Who are you? Call the police like you said you was gonna do. 
56 at this so time. What? what you think that's going to do? What Maybe they going to do? You're going to get banned from the store. So what? So? That's just this what is, where you stay at? A one bedroom apartment? Actually, I own my own house. Oh, I do too. Okay. I don't know why any of this. That's impressive. <laughs> so what else I'm you want to talk about? Right? Stop, Stop talking. Stop talking. Looks like you got lights in your head. Very good. So do you. Like your hair ain't been washed too. Like your hair has been washed. Oh, but shut your mouth. Yeah, that's actually. Now, a ain't nobody got COVID. COVID. Now, that's shut your hardest. mouth. Ain't nobody got COVID. You can then you right cover now. your mouth. Then you cover your mouth. Don't matter. Then you cover your mouth. Shut the fuck up talking to me. You're too no, close I'm not to going me. To. You're too close. Um, you're the one that won't leave the store. So if anybody's yes, too close I was to you, talking to your manager, leave. not you. It doesn't matter. You were speaking incorrectly to my manager. So what? Who the f is you? Her I'm bodyguard? Well, you her bodyguard? Does it matter who I am? Is you her bodyguard? It doesn't matter. And what are you going to do? What I'm doing right now. Shut the f up. No. And I'm not either. Let's keep talking, <laughs> Never bitch. asked you to. Let's keep talking to the police. Let's go right here. ahead. And they're just going to leave. What are you leave. talking about? Yeah, and I'm going to leave then. You're now, and look at your dirty ass. You got holes in your shoes. Hey, you damn straight. Because my you shoes don't matter. You got holes in your my shoes. My shoes don't matter. My you got shoes holes my in feet. your shoes. Look at you. What childish behavior there. Like, I, I don't think I've ever... I don't think I see a grown adult who isn't a bit of a child on the inside scream and shout like that going like, You shut the up i hate you i'm going to yell and scream and make sure everybody in this room hears me but not actually talk normally when you could perfectly do that it's i don't know i don't get these type of people it's just like treat other people how you'd like to be treated but actually sorry uh there might be someone's kink to be treated like this uh so i just ask them to sincerely to uh keep it to the in the bedroom <laughs> Don't treat other people like that just because that's how you want to be treated. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> I just think about that. That's so horrible. Anyway. <laughs> Moving on. First up, we've got a very interesting situation that went down at a hotel. 
Basically, these girls have a hotel room in this hotel, and they've been there for a few days now, and on this fateful day, a pair of men decide to turn up and ask the hotel clerk, and they get a key to the room with the name Jessica, and then the room number that they're staying in. Without really doing any form of detail checks or any other form of verification, they got the security to come and take them up the lift to that room and let them into that room. Here is uh, the aftermath of that situation. The situation is, this is a girl's trip. It's all females. Our front desk rep allowed two men to have a key card to our room and come upstairs in our room while we were in the room. No identification. No identification. No last, no accent for no last name. He did not, they told them Jessica, a random name, which is my first name, no last name, and he gave him a key card to our room. Mind you, this isn't the first incident because earlier, her mom, who's sick in the hotel room, that we're constantly on the phone with back and forth while we're trying to enjoy ourselves on the trip, said that somebody was trying to get in the room early and she had to lock the door. So lock on it. She had to put a lock on it and we wondering like why the key card is not working. We came back down here and asked for another key card. This was prior to this last situation that just happened around 3.15 while we're upstairs in the room. And I, they walked in the actual room, two men, one with the mask on. I didn't see them because I was in the room, but they're asking for me. Now, one time we even came in contact with me and on this trip. And they didn't even know who she was because they walked in the door and was like, are you Jessica? Are you Jessica? They no, didn't even know I who she was. I don't even know who he is or who the person is. I don't even know what they look like. I asked him, did you even get his ID before you gave him our key card to our room? We have so much designer expensive stuff up there. You know how much human trafficking and everything is going on? And you gave somebody access to our room just off Jessica in this room. I could have sat in the lobby just randomly and a lot and listen, oh yeah, where room y'all in? We going up to this room. Okay. You didn't even get an ID or anything. I asked him for his first and last name. He gave me the first name. You don't even want to cooperate, but you gave somebody a key card we, for a room. Okay. We also asked him, did he take the key? He said yes and then turned around and said no. Okay. Yeah, pause and let him talk and okay. try to get the story. Okay, so once he had said that, I had told him I do not have sheets down here at the front desk. I will have to call my security officers to have my security officers bring them up to the room for them. So then after that, I had gave him the room. Then he pulled out hundred dollars in cash and placed it down right over here. And I looked. Oh, through, so you saw it. Whenever we all look through the camera, you mm -hmm. will see that he pulled the cash, he put it right over wow. on the table, and I looked at him okay. and I was like, "What is that for?" And then he was like, I'm just over here trying to tip in you. And I was like, $100? I was like, do you really need change? Or like, are you just tipping me $100? He was like, I'm going to speak with her to say exactly what she wants to do. And I was like, so that's $400. Wow. I didn't take it from him. I don't care if you took it from him. Your room number, I'm going to need you to step back. I need to talk to him. Me, I called because the two guys, Walked in our room with their key. Um, the other Seven, three, three, with five, us, the she was laying on the couch. I was in the bathroom. I heard her talking to someone. She says, "What are y'all doing in here? Who who is y who are y'all?" And they like, "This not 3602. I mean, this not 3604." And we, she like, "No, who are y'all?" And they kind of backed out and left. I got out the bathroom like somebody was just in here, and she told me, "Yeah." So I thought that multiple keys work for multiple rooms. So I called downstairs and says, two guys walked in our room. Why does their key card work for our room? And, and he that's said, my and that's when he told me, he told me, she has the floor right now. Exactly what he, he told me that it's, that's funny because two guys came down here, asked for Jessica and gave me your room number and I gave them a key. I said, wait, you gave them a key to our room? I'm coming down. I hung up the phone with him and I came downstairs. Which was Jessica? Me. Jessica, right? I came downstairs. The two guys were right there. It was me and the other girl who's upstairs right now. It was my sister. She said, we came downstairs. We're trying to figure out why he gave us them a key to our room. The guy said, what's your name? Talking to my friend. She, he said, what's your name? So obviously he doesn't know Jessica. I, got, said, I have a question name? too. And she like, what you know? Well, she okay. never answered. But and I he just said, your question. name, Je you Jessica? And I'm like, no. But my thing is, why are you looking for Jessica? And, and 
That's true. What? So I mean, so I'm saying like, what happened? What was his response? He was saying he like, I'm sorry. It's, it's, um, it shouldn't be an inconvenience. I'm sorry. I didn't apologize. I didn't mean anything. Can I take you on a date to accommodate? Can I take you on a date to accommodate that? Can I make it up to you? And I'm ignoring him. I'm ignoring him totally because I'm focused on why he would give anyone a room key. He had not once seen us walk in here with no guys. No, no men has been here. My name. Period. My name is. We never. never no. I, I don't never. even know what they look We've like. Been on a my name yacht is on the reservation. I put her name on there we as so she can have a key card. So here. initially, he shouldn't even anyone. be giving a key card to a male if I put her name on there. I can see if a female came down here and say, "Well, I'm Jessica and I need a key card," but you gave it to a male that's asking for a female's but name. But not only that, one man. and my name you is the original name Jessica. on the um, Where is reservation. the last name basis for you to? A state a key. Is it like right? Can it be more than one Jessica in this hotel? Exactly. But he's saying it's not just Jessica. It's just the room number. Exactly. We never came in Thanks. contact with any men. We've been on a private yacht since we got here. here. And facts is. We've it's cameras all through here. You haven't seen not, not one, one man. man. You can run the cameras. I've been back. here since last no Sunday. Man. I hear you on that, but that's not up, up to him to monitor that. That's that, right. I, that, I understand, understand that too, but it's not up to him to give someone our room key. We're just the first name. Right on our room. We're going to address. Now you, now you operate based on policy. At the end, like at, at the end of this, if it's an issue, nigga, that's something you got to take up with corporate him as management. I can't do that. I already contacted my lawyer. Right. right. So they can For address sure. that because. Like I said, if you say it has a policy, I personally... I want it don't make sense. And can we see the policy? And then, and then for them not to even know who she is, is my whole thing. How are you asking for her and you don't even know who she is and what she looks like? Y'all can't talk about any conversation. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Come on. That don't even, that's not making sense. Wait on the other young lady to come over here. And okay. Do you do you need the other two ladies who? Um... No, no, you you two is fine. It's, it's okay, fine. just asking. Okay. Because okay. remember, it's mostly between the situation, mostly between you guys and, and the company. But uh, this is this has something to do with the policy. Exactly. Okay, so basically, I'm just gonna document a report about what happened today, and, and that's it. You know. Okay. Um, so there's no crime committed here. Okay, it's just mostly like a civil issue. So this report is just gonna be, you know, gonna be in favor of you. Okay. Thank you. No oh, he totally sold them out for a hundred dollars. Totally. I mean, that's probably not the case here. He probably didn't take the hundred, but it's still just a wild thing to think about that he even offered the hundred dollars in the first place. The guy claims he didn't take it, so we're just gonna go with that here. And I just want to say that is some wild stupidity of some form of hotel policy. That one is. Just over a month ago, when I was at a hotel for an event that happened down in Melbourne, like PAX Australia, if you've heard of it, if you've not, doesn't matter, not particularly important to this. Basically, I was in a room where both me and a group of my friends, we got multiple rooms, and there was, I think, two of us each room. So there would be, the room would be under someone's name, and then we would also have to write down the name of the other person who was allowed to be in this room. They wanted that just so they had the information on not only the person whose room the name is under, but also also, the name of the person who's allowed to actually get a key for this room in case they lose it and need to get one from the front desk or something along those lines. That is like a very needed thing. Um, I would be surprised if that's not the policy of the hotel in question here, but clearly that seems to be the case if all it takes is you just have the first name and as well as the room number and you can be taken up to the room by security who has a key, universal key for the entire hotel. I don't get how that was even logical in the first place. Like, the guy didn't even give you the last name. You should have at least asked for a last name. Like, that could have been the bare minimum of just verifying information. Like, okay, they got the first name, they got the number right. What about the last name? Do you know her last name? No, you don't know her last name? Well, then no, you're not getting in. You're gonna have to call them and get them to give us the okay to let you in. Or something along those lines. It just seems so crazy to me that, that, we're in a, that this is a situation where no ID was handed over. Heck, they didn't even need to know the last name of the person who lived in the room. They only need to know the first name and the hotel room number. That's it, and they got given access to it. Here we have a guy who was casually taking photos of young women on the bus and got caught out by one of them having to delete all those photos. Here's what happens. Oh, 
Look at this. all Let's... these fucking things, bro. Okay, bro. Oh, <laughs> sir. Look, do you need help? It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now okay. we're gonna delete no, all of them. All of them. All of them. I, I will delete all. No, we want to see you delete okay, them. Okay, we don't have to do it one by one. You, look, there's a shortcut. Oh, you shortcut. Like, oh, come on, come on. Shit. We're going to do the shortcut. Okay. And we're going to... Okay, we'll, we'll yeah. keep these, okay? okay? The wine bottle. Okay, and we're going to oh. delete it. Okay, okay. So and then go to... Del we delete yeah, it. we're going to... Look at this. How do we... Do? Album? Mm -hmm. we're gonna go I, I don't know. Really. Ah. Sorry. Oh, we know. Oh, oh, okay, God. open that up. I hate people like this. You see it on the beach, you see it in public, you just see it everywhere like it's a genuine overall problem it's just absolutely wild and unfortunately because of the first amendment unless you can prove these people are purposely stalking you in specific they can't really get into too much trouble for it yeah socially they're an extreme perv but beyond that there's not much you can do if you can successfully get them to delete their the photos then yeah good on ya but it's one of those weird just gross unfun things here we got an unhappy Kevin who seems to have had a fun night drinking at the bar and everything's gone horribly wrong and he blames it all on the worker at the bar. Good on him. I have a right to do this. I'm posting you. Thank God. You got it. Keep I am. Posting, man. I am. Keep posting. Oh, I'm posting this. Shit, really? Good. Yeah, and I have the right to do this. You should be fired. You should be in a drunk tank. You should be careful <laughs> driving home okay. as well. There you go. Wow. I don't care. I'm not stopping until he leaves. I have this in my right. I'm within my right. He's threatening me. Okay. I'm within my right. Okay. And if he continues, I'll call the police because I guarantee you can't drive home. Well, they can. Okay, we're all good, 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 we are all good we are all which is a very interesting choice to be made and definitely shows a person who's not really able to take responsibility for their own decisions and maybe once he wakes up with a massive hangover he'll rethink everything he did the night beforehand and realize what he's done. Or maybe not. There are people who just don't care to actually acknowledge when they're wrong and just pretend that nothing actually happened. Karen or a bigot to be more factual having a bit of a... calling this person every name under the sun because they don't like them. And now you're probably realizing my introduction to this clip was a bit of a damn understatement considering the sheer amount of language that she used to describe this guy who's just trying to get some food. 
I don't get how people are like this. It, it's a genuine question of everything. How are you like, like, how do you not like, especially as a per especially as a minority, surely you would understand what it's like to be treated in th this way that you're casually treating someone else. Surely you'd understand that at the end, that it's not fun to be treated that way and maybe you shouldn't do that, but clearly in this instance here, no, no you don't. You are a terrible human being who is just trash garbage and should just uh, disappear, to say the least. Like, genuinely speaking, you're a horrible person to just go off at someone like that in that vein and use every vulgar word you can think of to describe how bad of a person they are for seemingly no reason when all they're trying to do is get some food. You're horrible. Go away. Next clip, we got a protective mother who catches their son's girlfriend hanging around with another guy and has a very interesting reaction to that. This is a classic think before you act situation. I get it, you want to protect your son, you feel like your son's being cheated on by the person they're dating, but at the same time, you can't be 100% sure what's actually happening here, and the best way to handle this type of thing is either A, ask your son later, or B, if you really need to do it right here, right now, ask her a question. Don't fucking scream at them. That's dumb. That will literally ruin any chances of you figuring out what is actually happening in the situation. Here we have a guy who's extremely upset at a woman because he couldn't sit on a seat that either was right next to her or was the seat that she was sitting on in the first place and decides to go on a bit of a rant towards the bar owner or whoever's serving at the bar. Trying to make a motion on me, the heterosexual patriarch. When in fact, I have done nothing but order politely, Wrecking her, she told me to shut up, which I, I think would be reason enough. I did not tell you to shut up. I to said you need to know bar. when to and shut I up. I politely defended myself, as anyone would do, and said, "Please be and respectful." And kept inserting to yourself in conversations that had nothing to do with you. That's all. You forgot to add that That's in there. It, it seems like there's a, a little bit of sea bass and a little sashimi. And I would love to give you a sea bass and a sashimi. Thank you. But I also don't want any more. Neither do I. Drunk. So, so if you could just ask her not to talk to me ever again. You came up here talking to me. Let's get that clear. Right. You want you came up here entitled, wanted the seat that was already taken. Yes. You couldn't get I it. You were upset. Open. And you sat here. And I was so very polite. I'm saying to my dinner and I'll be glad to grab don't, some dinner. Don't do there. that because I, mean, I swing on men. I'll sw I swing on men. You get get whose Come head on. cracked open. You better if you know what's safe, you'll get the out of here because I'll call my dad right now and he'll handle Hope you got kicked out. <laughs> Genuinely, it just seems so stupid just how you chose to handle the situation. It's like, oh, I can't get the seat I want. Well, I'm going to whinge and bitch and moan and groan and complain. And then when I get pointed out and told off for doing that, I'm going to whinge and bitch and moan and complain and make vague threats about cracking someone's skull open. Even though that is the dumbest thing you can do. Just the dumbest that you're clearly you're either just stupid or you're drunk either way you need to go home so you're chilling at a farmer's market you know you're exploring the wares what people have brought in with their stalls and things on those lines and uh and a guy just decides to stand in the middle of the markets and start preaching what do you do well here we have an answer to that question in this clip here and when you pray he hears you if you have faith as small as a mustard seed you can move mountains all right, it says you can't please God except by faith alone. Hey, 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 hey. So it's hey, by hey, faith. Pay for this food. If you want to pay for a food, pay for a food. Mm. Yeah, so this will just answer. take a moment. Yeah. If you don't you're have faith, just... respect to hear anything hey, from the, the Lord. Right to say anything you want. Remember the First no, Amendment no, no. freedom of speech. Amen. 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 You can say anything no, you want. Not swearing. He's not saying anything you want. But hey guys, God, he loves you, he truly does. All right, this world will try to take every bit of you away from you. But Jesus, he will give every piece back to you. But folks, nobody can do it on their own.
alone. I'm telling you, if anybody wants to see Jesus, if everybody accepts that, guess what? We have situations we cannot control. All right, things happen in life, but Jesus will look out for you if you accept him. We have free will. I think I should just make this clear before I say anything else. I'm not religious by any means. Just so it's completely clear what my potential bias might be. So here we have, so the guy who's come out from a store has just said, hey, I, I've paid to be here. C could you like pay at least if you're gonna preach? And it's like, I can get, I can understand this guy's point of view. Cause it's like, he's paid to be here to sell his wares potentially. And in theory, he, this guy's come down to preach to sell the word of God. It's only fair if he pays, if he's gonna come down to sell something to people roaming around. And then there's, of course, other people come, oh, he's got the First Amendment right to do this. It's like, yeah. Yeah, he does. And the guy wasn't going off at him for doing it. He was like saying, hey, could you, I, I've paid to be here. Could you at least do the same before you go on this preach thing? And of course, everyone around him don't care about that. It's like, amen. Yeah, that's right. Screw you, loser. It, <laughs> it, it just seems so silly. Here we watch as another argument ensues between the employee and the employer, and this one is a lot more interesting than the previous one. Again, it's not quite clear cut on what exactly... Uh, I, let's just watch the clip, I'll get back to you in a moment. You're sending me home, because why? Take a seat. For what? Just take a seat. And you can start recording. Well, I don't want to. I don't feel... I don't trust being in here with you. That's totally fine, that's why KJ's in here. Yeah, well I still don't trust her if she's agreeing with you. She's not agreeing, she's just a witness. So you're going home because of your dis your attitude and what you're saying. You're what am I saying? You're being disrespectful how? towards management. I how? Don't know, you're telling me I don't know how to do my job. When I have you two are... people get your, your, your salad ready, okay? So what did your expo tell me? It's getting ready. No, she didn't. What did your expo tell me? Okay. I don't know what she exactly. told Exactly, so exactly, because you don't even want to talk about the issue. Okay. Exactly, you don't want to talk about the issue, do you? Jamie, your, exactly. your attitude is horrible. You're how is that? Out. How is my attitude horrible? Yeah, because I got upset that my table of two didn't have their food out and it took 30 minutes for their food to come out and then I went to and then it took 30 yeah. <laughs> and I, especially by the time the salad You're went being out. You're argumentative now. So I'm not allowed to point of view. How is that argumentative if I'm telling You're you how this is? I'm telling you how it is. Oh, so you don't know what the expo said to me? No. Exactly. So your expo said it went out already. Okay. There was and so two I turned salads. around. There was two salads. I have one salad. And so the, she said it went out already Okay. and I ran out to my table and there was no salad over there. So I came back and I said, Post, you did not send my food out right. <laughs> the salad's missing. Because how is that argument? Stuff. How is that argumentative? That's not argumentative. Then which part is? Being you being in here trying to say that. Wait, you're... didn't you just okay. pull me in here? Jamie. Yeah, wait, wait, did you, did you Jamie. just pull me in here? Jamie, stop. To calm me down, yeah. To calm Jamie, me down? You stop. just said that Look he wanted to shake. talk to yeah. me. Look at you, you're shaking. Huh? Look at you are off. shaking. So you just, what are you talking about? Look at your shaking. Okay, dude, you want to be on camera? It's because I'm uncomfortable with you. Okay. You're sending me home because you don't know how to do your job. You couldn't communicate where my salad was. You couldn't You couldn't speak nice to me. I stood there for 15 minutes saying, hey, where's my steak? Hey, where's and my I food? Hey, I said it's coming. Exactly. Great. And then I went and I found Curtis. I said, hey, can you go talk to my table? My table's been looking at me. And it's been almost 30 minutes for their ticket. And he says, okay. And then the food, you said it's coming. The steak finally went out. I saw somebody with one hand take my steak, go out. I turn around and I ask because your expo. Two That's but I have no that has nothing to do with me. I don't okay. care. Yeah, I asked one her. One was your salad and one was the other person's salad. That's fine. The one that was made was the other person's, which we thought yours. But that's was your yours. job, so I don't care. That's your job. I'm talking about my chicken Caesar but salad with the avocado on the side. Wrong. You didn't so send my food out, so and you didn't. How is that disrespectful? It is. Jamie. Because of your ego? That's not my ego. How is that not your ego? That's not my ego. If Patrick was here, he would have been like, what do you need? Take care of it, and that's it. And there wouldn't be Jeannie. Why are you so mad that your food's not coming out? Because it's my job to take care I'm of my calm. guests. I'm calm right now. So am I. So what's your and problem? What's my problem? You. Why? And your attitude. What's the attitude? It's, it's horrible. How? Be specific, because you keep, you keep, you keep labeling. Watch this video I'd be later. more than happy to. When you're calm. How am I not because calm? Because this is very sad for you. Really? I'm not. Can you tell me how? Watch the video later. Tell you, me how. Do you check out and you're going um, how about you S the F up? Because you are literally, literally, right now, you're literally trying to tell me 
but I'm doing something that I'm not. Okay. So if what I if just okay, can I have a question? No, no, no. This conversation's over now. Of course it is. You of might, course, you yeah. Might, you will be sitting with. You Patrick should really tomorrow. work on double uh, doubling your check-ins and checking it before you go out, and then you should communicate better with your employees so they know what's going on, so I can go take care of my other tables and you can sit out. Huh? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how to really go through this one because it's just like one of those things where there's multiple things going on and there's obviously going to be two different sides of the story. And furthermore to that, there's only going to be so much information. Like if, if the manager isn't seeing any of these events firsthand and instead is getting this information via a second hand, via a person complaining about the staff member, then the information isn't going to be wholeheartedly correct or there might be some things that are missing that don't quite make sense but ultimately managers going to have to do their job to figure out what's going wrong here and i get i guess is like potentially has gone the wrong approach with this but the employee employee here hasn't really exactly made it an easy thing to process through by coming in starting to record and having a bit of an aggressive attitude to it. Now, furthermore to that, if she is completely correct on what she is saying, like if what she's saying is completely true, then I can also understand her point of view, why she would come into this in this exact attitude, because it seems like she's been unfairly targeted for some reason or another. And you, you just get this mix of not really an easy thing to deal with that. If I'm completely honest, I don't have too much more to say. So now I just ask you, what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
You know, when I was first watching this clip, I was taking a drink whilst watching it, and the moment it's just like the guy said something back to the female, it's like, don't you dare do that! She's a female! I almost spat my drink out in laughter. It, it's just like such an absurdity. It's like you get involved in this massive argument, and then they talk back to uh, you or your your the mother, the aunt, like someone who's a female in the family, and instead of continuing the argument, you're just like, no, you're being sexist, you're not meant to talk back to her, she's a woman, it's like, how stupid is that? Like, you don't, you obviously know that your entire argument is not going to hold up in any form of light, and so you sit here going with this stupid thing, as the moment they start to fight back, you instead try to redirect things in a different direction. Ain't going to work, buddy Oh, and you know, they just showed their permit, they got right there and you're just being complete and utter assholes about it. Here we watch as the person behind the camera gets in an argument with the old lady here who claims to not be rude but then ultimately turns out to be pretty damn rude and ends up in this fun little argument that ultimately goes nowhere. I wasn't rude. You were rude. You were oh, saying shut your mouth you ugly bitch. Your guts. Oh now you're bringing God into this. What does your God think about you bullying service people? Huh? It's none of your business. None of my business? You're bullying people. They're not you at a place what? to tell I'm you that you're phoning up the media on you. You're phoning up the what? I'm phoning the media on you. You're phoning the media on me. Absolutely. Oh, you're phoning the media on me. What did I say to you that makes you feel like you're going to oh, phone no, the media no, on me? I'm defending my people. I live in the area. I live in the area years. too. I live here no, too. My mother died in this neighborhood. Oh, oh what made you think I don't live in this area? Because, because I'm not white. Nobody looks like that in this neighborhood. Nobody looks like this There's in this. We are in the West End. There's gays. And I'm seniors. a gay. No, you're not. I'm just, you're now. You're telling me I'm not gay. Are you like, seriously, are you out of your mind? You're gonna look at me and tell me I'm not gay? You're well, gonna prove, tell me what my sexual orientation is? Prove it. I'm gonna, I'm not entitled, you're not entitled to understanding how I'm gay or I not. What I know is you were rude to these people. You were in my space. You almost knocked, almost knocked me over. You're entitled, okay? And you knocked my card over and everything. I was right here all along. Because you knocked me over. You're trash in my eyes trash that's good you know what a lot of things are trash in your eyes doesn't mean that they're you're correct these people are beautiful i've come here for years and years and years i come here for years and years and years too but i'm no, not rude haven't. to them no you have not caused other seniors trouble you're a troublemaker nothing else i'm a troublemaker to you because you're a rude asshole oh. the seniors in my building they love me oh you know why because they're Lord. nice people there's people who what are nice liar. seniors, you're and then there's liar. people like you. You're you a are con artist. Con no. artist. <laughs> no, ma'am. I'm not a con artist, and yes, you, you are you're just a mean, con and you're. The fact that you're mean has nothing to do with your con age. Artist. You were mean when you're young, con too. Artist. I thought you were mean when you were con my artist. age. No, I'm not. What did I con out of you? Con artist. Are you willingly giving me your con money? Artist. Is that stealing? Well, what am I you. stealing? Look at you. You've got nothing going for you, lady. I've got nothing going for me? No, what you, uh, you are on the street, you know. You're I'm out. on the street. Oh, I've absolutely. got nothing going for me. No, not a thing. Do you want to see my income tax receipt? Is you that like, you want mine? me to prove? You want to prove? You want I've me got to more prove? money, dear, and I've worked for 50 years. I've That's got cool. more money than you'll ever have. I'm not entitled, you're not entitled to my income tax receipt. Just well, stop talking about it. You're not entitled to finding out oh, whether I'm gay or not. You. To the person behind the camera, people who don't want to be reasoned with can't be reasoned with. It is really that simple. Clearly she doesn't want to be reasoned with. She doesn't give enough of a damn to properly actually care about you in this instant here. So as much as you can try to hope that you maybe make this person see the light on the other s at the end of the tunnel and maybe they become a better person, at this day and age when they're that old, it's very unlikely to say the least. And clearly, she doesn't give a damn. She's going to continue to make up bullcrap to try and spew you into multiple different directions. And it works because you can watch, you can hear her stumble over the last little bit there when the Karen's like, oh yeah, oh, you know, you talk about your tax receipt. Oh, but. Duh. But I am gay and I don't need to prove that to you. It's like, yeah, it sucks that people are like this, but ultimately, this is one of those cases where. She doesn't care. She ain't gonna listen to you in any way, shape, or form. You're better off just attempting to move on with your day because this is not going anywhere. And hey, to freshen everyone's palate up here, we've got a spot of road rage. Dude, seriously? I'm on I-5 
15 heading southbound and there is a man in a red jet and <gasps> he's gonna crash into he's us gonna he's gonna crash, gonna crash into, into us. us he's gonna like t-bone like or sorry rear end us hey, we're going southbound we just exited what exit did we just get off on he's getting out he of the car out right now car. um Oh my gosh! Punched, he just punched our window. Like he's he has complete like this is fine. Oh my gosh! It's a red gosh. Jetta. I'm shaking. He's, oh, he's like, like yelling at his girlfriend now. Like no, there is no license plate on the front of his car. He's a, I'm he's shaking a male right now. I cannot with believe brown this is hair. happening. He's about to pass us, so we'll get his back plate. But he's like screaming at his girlfriend right now. Like this is like insane. He just punched our window. He just punched our window and like he's like he has complete I don't think he's like okay. He followed us off the freeway. Yeah, so he's screaming at his girlfriend in his car, but he just got out to yell at my friend who's driving and like punched our window. My friend wasn't egging him on or anything. This guy just was like like tailgating us like super super bad and so my friend like got over and sped up to get out of his way and he just kept following us and tailgating us what <laughs> big man thinks he's uh like so he was hard tailgating the moment they stop to do anything that he gets out runs up to them starts screaming at the driver asking him to come out and fight him i'm assuming and then punches the window tries to open the door of the car buddy calm down and just think for a moment i know it's very difficult to use your brain power when you're clearly roided out of your mind but just think for a moment you might realize that oh maybe this decision here is not the greatest of ideas and might potentially get me in a wee bit of trouble oh well and then of course when your partner decides to try and get you to calm yourself down you start going off at her and of screaming at her in the car jeez man maybe you need to learn how to control your anger genuinely speaking if you're this upset over someone on the road like man you you need help here we got a person who's nicely asking for a refund and the worker decided to be, feel like they're on top of the world and acted all aggressive over this causing some massive problems over for ultimately very minimal reason Okay, I just want a refund on my shake, that's it. Excuse me, ma'am, who is the manager? What? Who is the manager? Can I please speak to the manager? Huh? Can I please speak to the manager? Can I get a refund right ma now? Ma'am, you better get it. Just Thank wait. you. Okay, wait, you better get you're cursing. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you... You cannot treat people like this. This is your job. Are you for real? No, I don't know what happened to you today. I'm sorry. You handed me soft serve ice cream and then gave me some garbage and I'm not really? gonna eat really? it. Really? Okay, get out of And you're rude. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. You are so rude. Are so rude. Go. Okay. It's on those cameras, and it's gonna be. All, do not touch me. I'm not taking a picture. I'm making sure that I'm gonna be safe whenever what I walk mean? out of here. What you mean? What you mean? But you wanna go though? Go. Bye. I don't This place is getting shut down. I will do whatever they don't I can. Shut down, bro. You took my picture for real? Off of my foot. You wanna get slapped? This is a song. I'm calling the cops. I don't get why the worker acted this way. Genuinely speaking, just get your manager involved, get them to deal with it if you really just hate this person that goddamn much you want to cause issues over this. Genuinely speaking, it will cause you so much less issues because I wouldn't be too surprised if this worker got disciplinary action afterwards and then one this clip started going viral, probably saw themselves getting a bit more trouble, heck, maybe even fired. But ultimately, you reap what you sow. Here we got a person attempting to chase a refund because their order that they ordered, they didn't get it quite correctly, it was incorrect and I don't know if they attempted to ask like, hey, uh, you gave me the wrong thing, you mind giving me the right thing? Instead, may have gone just gone straight to go for that refund and the workers just don't give a damn. Honoring it. Uh, yeah, and that's my contract. Then you know what? Take this back and refund me my money. No, absolutely not. You did not give me what you were supposed to give me. Take my money back. 
Give me my money back immediately. Immediately. I am not paying for a fraudulent order. You have to take it over to I am not paying for a fraudulent order. I am not paying for a fraudulent order. Who's the manager? Who is, who is, it's funny. I know it's funny, right? Who's the manager here? You're the manager? You're the manager. Who is the district manager? This is going to be handled right now. Who is the district manager? You guys think this is a joke. Who is the district manager over here? That's frustrating to say the least, but at the same time, this guy just attempted to get his order fixed first before going straight for a refund. I swear what I've seen with a lot of these clips, when something goes slightly wrong, instead of asking for it to be fixed nicely, they just go straight, I want a refund, I want a refund now. I don't understand why that seems to be the case. It seems to be very common. I don't know, maybe you guys in America may have a better understanding why people act like this, why everyone's going straight for the refund rather than trying to get their order fixed first. I don't know. Definitely not the greatest way to handle it from the manager there and the other worker just laughing his ass off because it is pretty, pretty ridiculous and there's not much he can do about it. This security guy believes this guy who's walking down the store may have stolen someone, so asks to look at his bag. So the guy refuses and this, there's a little bit of a hassleness there he looks at the bag realizes it's wrong and well here's what happens hey bro for real honestly okay, bro so let's see what you got in the bag i don't got nothing in the bag why are you I coming you up do. to me why are you coming up to me because i can for what because i can you gotta run your cameras or something boss i, I gotta do all that i ain't showing you my bag well then i and then you what i guess i'm gonna have to take your bag take my bag well in. i guess you're gonna fight Fight. So what we doing? Man, man listen, so you're not taking doing? my bag, Cause I'm good bro. either way with it, partner. No, no, listen, bro. You're not taking my bag, bro. But the thing is, once I show you that I ain't take nothing from your store, you inside did. my bag, what? What did I take from your store? Show me. Yeah, I ain't run the camera back. What's your name, that, Mr. Huh? Summers? That's Wait. right. Mr. Summers, I told Where'd you, you not to do this to yourself, man. I'm good with it. No, you, hey, listen, Fair you don't me. have to be good with it, Mr. Summers. Fair yeah, me. Mr. Summers, you made a fool of your dumb ass. Man. Now he walking the back. He walking back, y'all. Look at him. Look, look, look at him, y'all. Look, I warned you, dumb the first time. I definitely warned you. Now look at you. You go all right with him, Mr. Summers. You're dumb ass, man. Looking like a fool, man. Now look, look, look at yourself, man. Now you got to sit your fat ass down. Look at you. You got to sit your fat ass down. Oh, but I'm not fat, though, dog. Oh, yes, you wish. You got to tuck that dumb belly into yours, man. Yes, you got to your fat ass, man. You got to put one on one, man. Now I'm about to get your dumb ass fat. I'm about to get you fired, Mr. Ahead, Summers. Okay, because you you done f***ed a black man for really? no reason because you thought I was, I'm black and you thought I stole. You okay, came in the bathroom. Threaten me, bro. No, I'm not threatening you. I'm telling you what I'm going to do. You just threatened me. You Why told you me I had to fight you for my bag. Hey, hey. You, you just threatened me on camera. Call it what you want. Hey, that's what it is. Don't hey, worry about it, Mr. Day, Summers. Man. You definitely... Man, reading into America laws with this type of stuff over the past few different videos has really made me grow to understand why so many people in these clips just refuse to show their bags, because in reality, they can do that. It's their right to, they don't have to care. In this situation, if you truly haven't stolen something, you may as well just go, here, there's nothing in here. What do you think I've stole? Nothing of yours stolen is in here. Bye-bye. And just save yourself some time. But I suppose in this case, you want to get a good clip, which... Fair enough, the security guard did make a complete not a fool of himself and then ref didn't po apologize for getting it wrong. Like, it's th this like this interaction could have been ten times simpler. It's like, if you truly didn't steal anything, it's like, yep, yep, there's nothing in here. Didn't steal anything. Okay, bye. Or, I don't know. Maybe I just don't understand that side of it as well as what, like, I, maybe I just find it, I... I don't understand that properly, like, why do we have the need to just refuse? No, even if I didn't do anything wrong, I'm not going to just open up my bag quickly to let you look. I don't know. S the security guy should have apologized after it turns out that he was wrong. Come on, man. It really is that simple.
Uh, this person isn't a Karen. Don't know why this one got sent to me, but it, they're not a Karen. I mean, I understand it's a bit of an annoyance to just have this person stay in the middle of the road to force you out of the bus lane. But again, why are you driving down the bus only lane in your car? I get it. You want to overtake the slow traffic. But at the same time, you're literally just going to cause more problems when the traffic has to merge later or the bus is in the way. Like, I, I don't get it. Why are you driving in the bus lane? What? Bro. <laughs> Is next up we got a bunch of people who are upset that they're a bunch of kids playing basketball for basketball hoop on the grass. On the street, too. Sir, sorry, this is not your property. It's not your property. It's not your property. This is not your property. It's not your property. It's not your property, sir. Yes, this is my art. It's not your property, sir. Leave it alone. This is not your property. We have, we have, Leave it. Listen to your wife. Listen to your wife. We're kids. You know that, right? You are right. Uh, yeah, and his wife. Are you excited? Are you on his husband? We're gay together. We're gay yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. At least we have a happy marriage, you know? You know what? You know what? You know what? I want him to fuck me. Yeah. Yeah, fuck me. 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 Yeah, my name is uh, Jacob, you know? My name is Jacob. None of, that's none of your business, ma'am. Oh, no. oh. oh my god! Such a big thing, buddy! Buddy, you did such a big thing! You did such a big thing! I'm so ashamed of buddy. He's not going to do this. Come on, gang. Come on, gang. That is so cool. Oh, my God. He's coming to our home. Oh, my God. I have a video. We have a camera. Pedophile. I'm not saying. What's your age? And why you are you telling this bad word? I'm 14. I thought we all grew to understand by now that arguing with kids about something that really doesn't mean too much in the grand scheme of things is really, really dumb and is a massive waste of time because they're just going to make you to look like a massive fool, especially in this situation here. The guy attempting to push over the basketball who failed a few times in a row and it's just like, that just made you look like an idiot, you dumb fuck. Like, come on. It's like one of those things. Oh no, they got a basketball hoop on the, sh on the grass near the footpath. End of work. World. They're playing basketball in the street. End of world. Someone's gonna die for it. I don't fucking know. I don't see why this is too massive of a problem. Like, good God. This Karen had a few issues with the cashier that was serving her, so she huffed and puffed and blew her way out of this Walmart stall, but also attempted to get an apology beforehand. Every time I come here. Please, this please, is my store. This is my leave. neighborhood. Don't leave. talk to me like this. Leave. Bye. 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 Bye.
talk to the way I was by no, the cashier. You by the cashier. cashier. You know what? I want her to come over here and apologize. She, she's not going. To. Well, she is you know what? You should really. Really? You know what? I'm making a scene because I was treated like an ingrate. Nobody talks to me like that in line. I apologize to you on behalf of her, and you should be good. You should be. You were leaving, and you you were you really wanted to make a scene. No, I didn't want it. I'll call, you know her, I'll call the police. She approached me. I'll she call the approached police. me. She's got no business talking. I'll call the police. Oh, yeah, like they're going to do anything. Yeah, like, they'll do anything. I mean, if you're still in the store and the police get there, yeah, they'll definitely do something because they've asked you to leave multiple times now. And if you're still there refusing to leave when the police show up, then, yeah, you're trespassing. It is really that simple. There's nothing much more to it. Also, love that guy in the background that's went dun da 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 Love you, mate. You're, cra you're a great one. <laughs> Here we have Karen, V. Karen, the ultimate showdown. Which Karen's gonna Karen the most? Well, I suppose one of them isn't really a Karen. They just been roped in to get involved in this argument because someone else started it. But still, it sounds more fun when I put it as a Karen V. Karen, doesn't it not? Here I am, man, in my business, and you're getting all funny on me. You got baby statements. Yeah, you don't like to argue when you get from the house. Oh, I see. I got the deals on the phone. Come to me in the back. We got the deals on the phone. I got iPhone 14, 43 dollars. iPhones, Galaxy. Yeah, and you, and you, you're with me. You look like that. What's your problem? You have a problem with me? I'm not in my state. Where's the house? Where do I work? Guys, you have a new machine trespassing. I'll tell you what. You want to get rid of it? I'll tell you what. As long as nothing gets physical, it's always funny watching two people just argue amongst each other over the most ridiculously stupid things. Like the most inconsequential things that the moment you move on and leave the store, ultimately you will never care about it ever again unless someone else brings it up. Then you might care about it. But beforehand, you wouldn't have. And this is one of those things where ultimately whatever happened beforehand is just something that ultimately no one should have cared anywhere near as much about. But no, we've got this argument instead and everyone else recording and laughing at it because it is quite stupid. Well, this is completely stupid after all. Here we watch in awe as a Karen finally gets their just deserves and deals with what we call karma. And she has a very interesting way with uh, coping about the situation. Last one from the front.
<laughs> right, let's get out of here. If you say something enough times, that must mean it's true, right? That's how that works, isn't it? Uh, that's just how the stupid people think. Like, if you yell, if you say the same thing enough times and yell it increasingly louder each and every time, surely, surely that must manifest it to become extremely true. Yeah, no. <laughs> Clearly not happening in this situation. And of course, she's just casually sit, just being there, uh, resisting arrest as much as she can. It looks like at the end there, the police have managed to get her to turn over and might finally cuff her. Might. We don't know. <laughs> Still, funny nevertheless. This pair here go through the self-serve checkout. They do end up printing a receipt, but anyway, as they're leaving, they don't bother to show the receipt to the Walmart person at the door. He's not happy with that. Ultimately, police are caught, and then this thing in this section ensues. Yes, you you, are. Are. you okay. sure the f are. You're not detaining me. Touch uh, my s***. Get out of my way. I'm not getting yes, out of the way. Yes, you are. Really, get out of my way. Don't touch me. Don't touch uh, my This girl, merchandise, girl. I don't know if it's paid I paid for. for it. Call 911. I don't give a f***. He's a police officer off you. So oh, are you in with my investigation right now? Man, I know nobody's in the hole, buddy. Don't touch me. All right. Don't touch me, bro. All right. I'm all right. recorded all, baby. Don't worry. I'm re recorded all. Okay. You're going to get lost here, buddy, because I paid for all my s***. It's right here. It's on the, it's on the counters that we check with It doesn't matter. This store. isn't Sam's Then why do you this have is, the option? Why the f*** do you have the it's option wrong, on your self-checkout to get an email or a print the receipt? Why do you have that option? Why do you have that option? I'm your motherfucking manager. Why do you have the option? Yes, you are. Why do you have the option on self-checkout? I paid for my items. I paid for my items. I paid for my items. You see what they're doing here? I paid for it. This is a Sam's Club. I'm a member of Sam's Club. It's right here in my hands. So how do you want to handle this? Take the fucking receipt. So show me the receipt. How about that? It's in my motherfucking Man. Like a man. He is a, who the f are you talking to like that? No, I'm not just because. How do you want to handle this? Who the f do you think you're talking to? What's your name and rank? Who do you think you're calling a man? Officer Norrington, I'm letting you see it. Believe me, I'm seeing it. Look at the receipt in my hand. It's going to be on Facebook, everywhere on Facebook. It's on the cash register that we check receipts. Okay, then why on your self checkout do you give me the option to print my receipt or email it? Why is that an option? Okay. Show me your receipt like a man. Do you not see the coffee cup that's in the same hand as the damn receipt? Mate, are you blind, stupid, or dumb? No, 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 actually, no. What was actually happening here is this police officer was baiting him into doing something that he can actually charge him for. Because he knew that he can't show him the receipt because right now the officer's holding down one of his two hands and he's got the coffee and a receipt in the other hand. There's really only one solution to this problem. Drop the cup and hope you don't lose the receipt as well or throw the cup at the police officer because he's being a complete and utter ass hat. That's probably what he's thinking. He doesn't want to do it the reasonable way. Even though the guy's showing the receipt in his hand, he's just holding a coffee cup as well. And the police officer just can't be stuffed grabbing the receipt and actually looking at it himself. No, 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 no. The person who owns the receipt must show him the receipt the way he wants to be shown the receipt. He can't just take it for himself and look at it. He, he just, what a dick. I hope you sued him and got some fat stacks of cash out of this situation. Here we watch as a guy quite possibly gets arrested for something they didn't do. Don't have the proof for that one, but that does, that's just what the story is for this one. Anyhow, the security guard's not exactly happy with his with the friend of the guy being arrested filming the situation outside. Yeah, no, I'm I'm in the air. Yeah, no, I absolutely can. No, I shut the f up. Hey, you're a coach, right? Can he videotape on property? I'm absolutely Heard. Yeah. Are you with him? Yeah. Is this your stuff? No, that's my stuff. Receipt's in the bag. I just told him that it was a good enough for him to check my ass and check my receipt. I know, I got you. I got it. I'm just saying, my stuff is in there paid for. You need to go. I've got stuff. I'll check this by the damn You need to go. Do you know the consent laws of do you not have my consent to video check me? It doesn't matter, man. No, you're in public. It's private property. Uh, no, it don't matter. You can go to jail, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Madison's asking to leave, bro. It's private property. You gotta ask you to leave. You gotta go, dude. You're gonna get apprehended like this guy. Is that what you want? Oh, yeah? Yes, sir. Are you gonna Are you gonna do it? Yes, sir. 100%.
from my understanding of the First Amendment, because they're out in a... Like, yeah, the car park is technically private property, but it's visible from a public space, which is just there. Like, in theory, he could, he could go to the footpath next to the road, zoom in, and still record you, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. But it, it's just like, now it's an issue because he's closer. Like, in my, my opinion, from what I've grown to understand, that this is just one of those things where there's really nothing they can do. Like, yeah, inside of the building of Walmart, they can kick you out and then can get you in trouble for trespassing afterwards if they're not happy with you filming. But again, they can't stop you from filming and they can't force you to delete the video itself. They can just say, no, you can't be on this property. That's how that works. At least in America, and at least from what I can gather from reading up on the laws and bits and pieces like that, as well as what people have said in the comments in the past. Here we have an angry old Karen in the Walmart who uh, does not like a certain person, so she decides to be a complete and utter ass towards her. You need to get out of my face. Shut, Shut up. up. Shut up. Why am I there? Took my shirt? Because you're mad about it. I've never known that. Oh, you said ugly outfit. I know what you have. I never said ugly outfit. I called you ugly. You said rude outfit. That's what you said. You don't call me. Shut up. I'll take you outside. Shut up. What are you going to do? I'll take you outside and pick the crap out of you. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Don't you call me your grandma. I'll put your little butt down there and mash. You just not. Get out of my face. You get out of my don't face. Don't touch me. Back up. Don't touch me. You don't tell me to back up. Get out of my face. Shut up. You shut your mouth. Right. Are you going to get I'm it smashed? Scared. You think I'm scared of you? It's okay. okay. You think I'm scared of you? Back up. You shut up. Come on. She's sick. You ain't got no respect for nobody. I don't care. I don't have to respect you. Look at how you're talking to me. You don't deserve any respect. Man, you don't respect anybody. Uh, shut the f ma'am. You, you clearly don't respect her either. And it's like, oh, but she treated me horribly first. Isn't the saying go, treat people how you would like to be treated? Isn't that what this is? If you want to be respected by someone, then you should give them the bare minimum of respect as well. Isn't that how this goes? It's a two-way street, bro. You gotta walk, you gotta walk the way for people to walk it with you. It's a two-way street. There isn't just like people have to respect you just because you're older and then you don't have to give a crap back. No, 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 no. If you want to respect, you've got to give it. And they're threatening to assault someone because they're not exactly uh, submitting to what you're saying is just worse. Like, are you dumb, stupid, or dumb? Maybe all the above. Here we have a guy who uh, makes a very interesting comment about someone who's unable to speak English properly. Uh, here's the clip. Yeah, you should be shaken. I and am. when someone doesn't yeah. speak English and we can't communicate in Los Angeles, guess what happens? Honest. People die. People go bye-bye. He's like walking up on us and stuff. He actually has gone to my face. Now you're going to lie? No, I'm not. I have it on camera. Don't call her a liar. 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 Are you police? Don't worry about me. Are you military? I'm retired fire police officer. Sir, can I have you go over there? And I'm MMA trained. So you really want to go there? Seriously? I got some hands on you, old boy. Oh, boy, howdy. You ever heard of Chuck Liddell? We train guys like that. How about Connor McGregor? Get away from me. Get the f away from me. Man, I'll f you up, bitch. You want it seriously? Sir, you're talking to LA's finest, pal. Sir, I said you're talking to LA's finest. I'm calling down Not down. Omaha. Please, and this ain't I'm Podunk, Iowa. Get that guy away from me. Okay. He probably has a gang background based on those tattoos. Amen. Thank you very much. Let's go. God bless you anyway. Thank you Jesus for your died on the cross for you. Thanks for your service. Sir. I said he died. Now we're talking. I said, now we're talking. Thank but you need service. to stay away from me. Because you don't know. Because we're in baggy clothes. But this is 200 pounds of ivory. Get away from me. You know, I thought for a moment there he was about to go primal. He was about to release his inner caveman and go uber booger on our asses. <laughs> like, that's just what the escalation kept going up and up and up. And look, I think I should make this clear. I understand that America has a very heavy tendency to treat their veterans like absolute hot garbage. So there would probably be some real genuine frustration of just life as, as a whole if he's a genuine veteran. But hey, one thing he's got, he is LA's finest.
LA's finest asshole. <laughs> Oh yeah, that comment starts saying that oh, when two people can't speak this English, like, if you can't speak English and I can't understand you, that's where people die. It's like, what the hell is that supposed to mean, man? Is that some form of death? Like, w- what do you try to mean behind that language? Just because she doesn't quite perfectly understand it or doesn't speak perfect English doesn't mean people are gonna die over that. That's dumb. Here we at Karen Crazy at Karen Crazy's favorite Walmart being Karen Crazy Crazy. I don't know, I'm just saying a bunch of random words. Here's a clip. You're either high on drugs or drunk, or maybe a mixture of both of them. Either way, you're flat out bat crap crazy. It's uh, some wild shenanigans going on at this Walmart, with this person absolutely losing her mind. I don't know. (laughs) I I don't get people who are like this, especially just taking random crap and throwing it around. Like, obviously something happened prior to the actual clip itself to lead to whatever, what to what actually happened in the clip, but what that will be... Yeah, we'll never know. We'll never know, will we? Here we got a Karen who's a bit too impatient, so she decides to take the handicapped line in Walmart, and where she gets queried about why she's doing that, rather than explaining and potentially having an actual valid reason for using it, she decides to take the insult the person route. Yep, yeah, of course they did. <laughs> Even kids were smart enough to point it out. Really? You need to make her leave because oh, really? she is harassing us. us. And she's saying, what are you carrying? I mean, she's absolutely <laughs> out of control. Yeah. I Lena? I am very impatient at this point. Can I get a Lori? It's been about 40 minutes ringing up their cheek with yeah, some coupons. Because we're so broke and so fat and we need all this food. So. That's right. Yeah, she actually And she's a Mormon. <laughs> she's yeah. a Mormon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Because we're so broke and we're so fat. Absolutely. Yeah, so uneducated. And do, do you need eyes to see that or does a mirror reflect the same thing to you? <laughs> I don't think you need eyesight. I think it will. Um, well, sure. I mean, Walton could see it if they had somebody. Um, because we're bringing up coupons. Well, do you know how long we've been here waiting for your groceries? Yeah. Choose a different yeah. line then. Yeah, I know. That's simple. They would allow them. This is going on YouTube. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Oh, yeah, I can make anything viral. Ask these people how long they waited. Did you wait a pretty long time for these ladies? Thank you. Way before I did. But ignorance, that's in Walmart. Why are they waiting? Right. Oh, 
This is absolutely hilarious. Francine, 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 let just leave her alone. She is ignorant. Please relax. It's not a matter of someone taking over. She needs to be removed. I think it should be said, not all handicaps are visible. She might have an invisible handicap, but when you get queried about that and your choices and your option to what you choose to do in that situation is to just verbally insult the person querying you a question is just not how I would proceed to do this type of thing. I don't know. It makes, it come, it makes you come off like you're genuinely don't have any form of issue at all and you're just being there because you're a bitch. And hey, that might have actually been the case in the situation. Or you might have genuinely needed the handicap line for one reason or another. Either way, you're an idiot. Learn to be nice. So, here, this couple here, his wife is handicapped. But unfortunately, she is a bit too light, so the, this is bit, the mobility scooter tends to have a few issues with her because she's not heavy enough to properly activate certain mechanics in the seat itself. So, he sits on it, she sits on top of him so that they can actually make use of the mobility scooter. Anyway, they, they're shopping, and on their way out, one of the Walmart employees decided to uh, point out, like, hey, you can only have one person on it. It says only one person on the seat, and then when he points out why he was on the seat with her, she decides to uh, have a very interesting response to it. Here's a clip. I sit there and tell me handicapped people don't matter? Is that what you just said to me? Huh? I didn't say that. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You sat there and said that handicapped people don't matter because I was riding on that, right? Correct? No, I didn't. What did you say? What did you say? I said you said handicapped people. I, it, I said the chair specifically says two right. Persons. That's what specifically, and what did I tell you? My wife is too small to sit there and control that, so that's why I'm on there. I'm and you sorry. sat there and said you don't, uh, you I don't matter. The kid, yeah, yeah. yeah. I asked for a manager, and she's refusing to get me one. Yeah, I mean, you guys got cameras. You can see yeah. that reaction. That's yeah. that's ridiculous. Very, very I'm like shaking when she sat okay. there and said that my wife doesn't matter and she don't care about her being handicapped. We got a problem. What happened? I rolled up on here. I was sitting on this. Okay, my wife is too, her weight is too small. This thing won't go. Keep stopping this net. So I sat on, she sat on my lap. We did our shopping. We come and rolling through here. Okay. And she sat there and looked at me. She goes, oh, only one person is allowed on it. It says only one person. Well, I'm sorry. I explained to her that my, you know, my wife, you know, is handicapped and she's small and it doesn't move. She, I don't care. It doesn't matter. Only one person is allowed on there. Are you still well, recording? Yes. Would you, you know, so then I proceeded to tell her what, what we did, you know, why I'm on there and she doesn't care. And I said, my wife's handicapped. You're telling me I don't care. As soon as I said, my wife's handicapped, I don't care. And then when we asked for a manager, she refused to call a manager up. Alright, we'll take everything. I'm sorry about that. I, I'm literally shaking right now. And, and here's the thing, I come here all the time, I see kids running around here playing on these things, okay? And that's kind of upsetting, but never once do I ever see a associate walking up and saying something to them, you know? I'm, I'm going to tell you, my father is store manager at Walmart locally. I've never had a problem with this, and that's considered discrimination. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm parked in handicap, if you don't believe me that I'm handicapped. I'm, I got a handicap I, sticker. I believe you. Very, very rude. So, Tanya, how much is your bill? Um, I don't know. I'm going to pay him out for it. Sorry about that, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look, I'm not one to automatically assume the worst of people. I passed, like when I first started watching this, I thought that it clear maybe she didn't say that directly that she didn't care that or doesn't matter or something along those lines. Like maybe that's just the guy over exaggerating it for the video. But as the more the story goes on and then seeing the other employees' reactions to it, it seems like either A, they're just trying to avoid having the situation go any further, or B, they've had issues with this employee before on a similar caliber that they are just willing to go yep okay cool what happened okay uh sorry about that and then move on like, i don't know it puts me to question on what actually happened prior to this clip and how true is the story from the person behind the camera because from what i can tell there seems to be very heavy weighted validity to it i don't know or don't 
personally think that she would have directly said doesn't matter if your wife's handicapped, but the connotation to what she, how she responded to or something the guy might have said probably heavily implied that, and that's not exactly the brightest thing to do. Here we watch as for one reason or another this person is extremely unhappy with their experience at Walmart so they decide to start yelling at the staff members thinking that the louder they yell the more successful their whatever they're doing is going to be. and shout and let it all out, but can you shut the f*** up when it's over? <laughs> when it's all said and done, maybe learn to just get get a zip, a, a stitch it to your lips, and then close it. You might find that you have a much more enjoyable life when you aren't screaming at every other person who does something. Like, what in the world even happened here to cause you to be this loud over something? Like, you, like is it just you being like, oh, yeah, if I'm loud enough, they'll listen to me, right, right, right? Or is this you genuinely, like, what even happened here to get here in the first place? Here we have a Walmart employee who decides it's a great idea to stop a guy who's using a mobility scooter, who's brought some alcohol, yada, yada, yada. She decides to stop him because A, she doesn't think that she should be he should be using it at first, and then B, to check his age until he le before he leaves with the alcohol, even though that he would have had his ID checked up at the counter when he brought the alcohol in the first place, but he's a clip. And I'm allowed to record whatever I want. No, you cannot. Yes, I can. I can record wherever I want. What are you talking about? Just stop. Why are you in the cart? Look at my knee, man. Okay. I, I explained to him. And it hurts. Okay. Are we supposed to give an explanation you, for why he's in the cart? Are you, did you have somebody standing on the back of it? Okay, I didn't realize that, though. But okay. I paid for my stuff. When, when I don't steal. And when second of all, I wouldn't be on the cart if I didn't need it. Okay. And I'm not doing anything. Where is your cart? It's outside. Where? In the parking lot. That side or this side? I'm using the restroom, ma'am. Okay. I'll wait and I'll help you. Can I have my ID? Like, there's no need for you guys to do this, though. You realize this, this is, like, weird. Okay. Because Here's I paid for my things. No, I paid for my things. If these aren't able to be used by a person that... I'm not it makes no absolutely have I no sense. You from using it? You just told me. You just checked me, like if I'm I stealing did. these things, I, and I paid. No, and I'm you checking, saw my ID. I'm checking your age. You think the man didn't check it when when I wrote? How would he have been able like, to it makes buy them? No sense, man. Honestly, okay. if he was not twenty one, and it needs to be scanned. So that was so unnecessary. Yeah, you're just bothering me at this point. I have done nothing wrong. Will you call Coach Malik? Yeah, you should I call him actually. Anything. It makes no sense. Bro, just go. Let me know what your thoughts on this one are in the, in the comments down below. I don't have much else to say. Here we have a charity that decided to set up out the front of a wa local Walmart to this guy. And he's come in to do his shopping with his wife and he's seen this charity. Now, from what he has apparently researched, according to him, this charity is corrupt and is currently under investigation from the FTC. So he made his feelings known to the guy running the charity there, then and there. And then also has hung around whilst his wife's gone in the do shopping to continue to voice his opinions every time someone comes up to donate. Anyway, after a bit, some complaints come through about him potentially disturbing the peace out the front, so one of the Walmart managers, I'm assuming, came out to talk to him about the matter, and here's that discussion now. 
to not do any harassment type things. I'm not harassing them. But right now, you standing here doing that isn't uh, right either. It's not Sure it is. It's freedom of speech, ma'am. Yes, I'm free to tell okay. people that I think this is a corrupt organization. Okay. If they don't like it, they can call the police and have me removed. But I think you'll find that the police will say that not only do I have a right to video record in a normally public area, I also have a right to make but my as, feelings known about this organization. Okay. But as this being our store, we can also ask you to please go on and leave them, and I will do my part at researching what you complained about. Ma'am, I deeply appreciate that. that, and because you're going to... Oh, I know how much uh, Ma'am, you see this lady's giving money to these guys, and it goes right yes. into his pocket. I know, but just as they came and they filled out their paperwork, you have to give me time to research it. I will do that, ma'am. I will do that, ma'am. But uh, let, let me explain something to but you. But a complaint was brought inside to the store that you're out here bothering them, and so I have to come and do my part and to at least say... And I understand that, but you have to also understand that the Supreme Court ruled in Marsh versus the state of Alabama that any area that is normally open to the public, right. which is not inside your private area, I can make my feelings known. I do not lose my rights to freedom of speech, well, and I'm not stopping anybody and I'm not blocking anybody. I understand that, but I don't want to have to end up having to call the cops to have them ask you to leave. Well, let me tell you something. As soon but as my wife is done shopping, I'm going to be leaving what, anyway. That's what I'm going to end up having you to can, do. You can, you go right ahead. Go right ahead. Because them. I'm not bothering them. I'm not even speaking to him. I'm not even talking to him anymore. I did make my feelings known, but I'm not even speaking to him. I'm speaking to folks as they pass by. And that is not harassment. I'm not chasing anybody. I'm not blocking anybody. I'm not speaking to him. So there's no harassment, ma'am. And I have it here on video. You're free to call the police. Mm -hmm. I'm protected by constitutional law to stand here and make my feelings known. I'm not using a bullhorn. I'm not stopping anybody. I'm just saying, as I see people putting money in the bucket, I'm saying you're giving money to a corrupt organization that is under investigation by the FTC. That's all I'm doing. And there's nothing illegal. If you think you can call the cops and have me removed, and by the way, I don't enjoy doing this. You're not going to find me to be a guy who goes on YouTube and posts videos of this kind of stuff or looks to create harassment. These guys are stealing money from veterans. And I'm a veteran. And I find it personally offensive. I understand. And so, please, if you want to call the police, and I deeply respect you, Leona, and I deeply respect you taking my complaint, but I feel an obligation to protect people and keeping their hard-earned money in their pockets and not giving it to and these guys. Is coming to voice, like I said, you came in. But it doesn't stop the immediacy of my concern, which is people right, are donating right. money now. I understand. And that. so I am exercising my constitutional rights. Mm -hmm. If you want to call the police, like I said, my wife is shopping here. If you want to call the police, if you think that they're going to have me removed before my wife comes out with her shopping, then you go right ahead because I'll explain to the police the same thing I've explained to you. I'm standing well out of the way. You can't deny that. No. I'm not blocking anybody. And you're not blocking I'm not anybody. chasing anybody. But the thing is, is if we don't want you out here hollering at the customers, because because just ma'am, you see that parking lot? You see that parking lot right there? Family. That's an area that's normally open to the public. You can ask me to remove myself from this sidewalk. I will step causing, right over there. Okay. If somebody is causing a disturbance in our parking lot right there, we also have the right. I'm to not causing a disturbance, ma'am. Make, ma'am, ma I'm not causing a disturbance. I'm making. If I'm, they're this is free and speech. complaining to me, it is a disturbance, sir. Let me explain something to you if they come in and they're complaining or a customer even came in and said that there was a gentleman out here hollering at people as they walked past the ones trying to collect money at the doors mm -hmm. that is a disturbance that's a disturbance you, to our customers you might think that's a disturbance but protection of freedoms of speech exists precisely to protect speech that we find unpopular popular speech by its very definition needs no such protection so I'll tell you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go out in the parking lot I'm gonna make sure that I'm not blocking anybody and as people donate money I'm gonna make my feelings known if you wish to call the police you go right ahead and do it that was honestly one heavy discussion to really just mull over for a little bit there considering like yeah I get it if, if this is genuinely one of those charities that are correct Corrupt, and in most cases, they tend to be. It tends to be a very common thing, especially in America. I've noticed that a good chunk of charities tend to be more corrupt than not in one way or another. Then I can get behind his movement here, but at the same time, it's. 
uh, the, uh, there's a certain way to do it. I don't know. It, it's difficult to be completely honest. And yeah, you've got the freedom of speech stuff there that you are in theory allowed to say whatever you want as long as you're not personally harming someone. And if he's really just saying, hey, I believe this is corrupt. I don't think it's a good idea for you to donate to them because it will just go to this guy's pocket. Then yeah, that's a fair statement to say. Yeah, it might be annoying to the guy who's trying to run the charity. And yeah, other people who don't care about what the guy's saying will have issues with him potentially disturbing the peace, but I can also get behind the message if that is true. So, I don't know. What are your thoughts in the comments down below? Hey, we've got a character at the local store who decides to be a bit racist towards someone who she doesn't believe lives in America or deserves to be in America. Someone else decides to record his interaction and, well, uh, things only escalate from there. Yeah. Excuse me, but you did say that she needs to go back to her country. What, what kind of, what kind country. of, what is that? Excuse me, this is what this whole world... White people are not from this country. You don't serve her. Yeah, you do not serve her. So serve her racist ass. You don't tell... No, 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 no. Continue serving, continue serving. You need to leave. You're not a part of this. You need to leave. You're not a part of this. No. No, you do not come in here and use the F word and swear and call me a B-I-T-C-H. I've never even said that I said she is and you're not a part of this. So you get out of here. I know. I said no. she is, and that's why she's leaving. Okay. So you will leave too. No, 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 no. This is going all over the internet. You don't know who I am. You told her. To, you told her to go back to her country, where she's from. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where were you born? I was born in America. Where are your ancestors from? They're not from this country. You're going back to Mexico. You better go back you to where you're from. You just, you just know. You just walked into. Excuse me. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, you deserved it. Oh my God. In my opinion. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, you, you pushed her and she smacked you. That was. Man, she's going to feel that one tomorrow. Oh, she's probably going to feel it the next day too. She's going to be so entitled that she's going to try and go after the cops and make sure she gets an assault charge for that. But I, I hope that the clip here at least shows that she was the one who continuously escalated this entire situation because that's what it was. She was the one who continuously going off with that other person. She was the one who gave the push, so she got slapped back after the continuous escalation. Would I? Is that a great idea to slap the Karen in the face? Probably not. Probably not. But hey, she deserved it, and that's what matters. Here we've got a Karen who's extremely upset about the potential fact that these guys are closing earlier than what is expected. Anyway, after a bit of back and forth, she decides to start recording, and he is using a siren on a megaphone to peeve her off. <laughs> Now, since you're recording, you have it on record that you've been asked I am record. And, and you know what else was on record? The telephone call. Because there was there was no reason for you to be that rude and nasty. That's fine. That's fine. You are asked to leave. That's fine. That's fine. You are welcome on this premise. That's fine. She is calling right now. She can call the police. She can call the police. And and what's your name, sir? Are you a manager here? Can you explain to me why your business hours are posted at one? None of your business. It's none of it my business. It is our business. This is not a publicly held entity. Okay, that's it, okay. That is But wonderful. that's okay. But I. But what does that have to do with what I asked you, though, sir? That's not your business. Like I asked you, it's none I don't of my have business. To tell you anything. It's none of my business what your you. business hours are. But Goodbye. I'm a customer. Goodbye. And I come here and I Goodbye. eat here. But it's none of my business what your business Goodbye. hours are. It's none of my business why you're supposed to be open at Goodbye. one, Goodbye. but you're closing early. That's fine. Are you able to give me that manager's name or no? What is? Huh? What are you saying? Are you able to give me that manager's name? Or are you not allowed? If you're not allowed, it's okay. I don't want you to get in trouble. This is Paul. His name is Paul? Thank you. I appreciate it. Now, the most major question I have for this is what happened prior to the recording of this clip? Because clearly, something major happened to cause the attitude from the supposed manager here in the first place. Like, potentially, the, the person behind the camera came in with a very rude attitude, and they decided to just straight up refuse service to her. And when that happened, she was extremely angry, yada, 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 or some of those lines. Though, it is weird to 
I, I don't quite get what happened prior to this clip, and I think that's something to make very clear. I don't know that. It seems very interesting that this entire situation has escalated to the point of what we see in this clip here, but clearly, uh, the customer behind the camera probably didn't bring a uh, good attitude to work with her in this outing. Probably not. I don't know. Prior to the clip, there was a bit of a disagreement between this customer behind the camera and the cash register person. At some point, this guy decides to just tr start treating her like crap or something along those lines, and so, in response, he decided just to throw the change down onto the table in front of him and get him to pick it up rather than handing it over. Anyway, that caused this massive kerfuffle that happens here. Thank you. Are you the manager? Yeah. She threw the money. She don't get my hand. She like this. She told me to shut up. Supposed to be the selfish? What do you mean to shut up? You told me to shut your mouth. You better know the price, okay? I pick up the fish, the, the tail fish, and the head fish. Bro, Should you know the me. price? You know the way you time? She throw the money like that? this. Look at her, she did. Are supposed to be serviced like that? Oh, no, sorry about that, sir. supposed to be serviced like that? She throw the money in the, you know, the table. Supposed to be skipping the hand. I give her money in the hand. Okay. Yeah, but he told the me to shut up. Nasty, you the Mexican. Go to hell, bitch. Don't come down, sir. She throw the money under the table. Yeah, well, I apologize. Suppo supposed to be like this? Yeah, it's well, it see, look, see that, see that, see that? You see that? This? See that? See that? That what are you just speaking? You need a job? Well, you. Get out of here, okay? You get out. Okay, oh. you better come down. Oh. Calm down. Calm down. Do not say that for the customer. It's supposed to be like that. Yeah, I understand. That. Look at the money. Oh, she throw everywhere like this. She don't give me money in the hand. I give her my money in her hand. Is that supposed to be like that? That's the most. She, she need to quit the job. If she don't like the job, she quit. You don't need to get mad at the She throw my money in the. He know it. She better shut up first, okay? Do not serve at the customer like that. Outside. I know, I know, I know, but she can't. Yeah, your stuff yet? She throws my money. This is my stuff, but here, she throws my money everywhere. You see, right? No, I didn't saw that. No, 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 no. Everything in here. I will investigate it. I apologize. You have a bad experience here. She can't do that. I understand. She that. cannot do that. Yes, sir. She throws my money. I give her my money in her hands, and she throws my money at the, the table. Okay. She can't do that. And she say it done bad words. Okay. That's no good. Yes, sir. It was like I can understand the situation is very tense and everybody's. That's like, the best. I say I got I picked the tail fish and the head fish. She said she didn't know the price. She go all the way down the count. She wanna know the price. I I sure you know that. I just say that. Clearly there's something that happened prior to this guy decided to start recording that caused her to act this way, especially considering how quick he was to just be racist. Like, out of all the things you immediately do when someone treats you like crap, the first thing, the first switch you flick inside your head is not just not respecting someone, no, 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 it's racism. It's just like, oh, you disrespected me? Press this button. I am now racist. Screw you. Like, it's one of those things where it's like, if that's your first thing you're going to, clearly there's a lot more things wrong with how you think about things in life than whatever just happened in this situation here which is wild to say the least like the, like i don't get people where their first defense mechanism or their first way to respond when someone is either a piece of shit or decides to not respect them back for one reason or another whether it's justified or not is to just be racist is dumb here we got another guy who's being accused of stealing stuff and well let's see what happens next <laughs> Look, I got these crabs. They tell me, you want to pay for those, sir? Hey, who you talking to? Hey, man, who you talking to? Who you talking to? I already paid for them. How many times you want me to? How many times you want me to pay for them? I walked through the register. I watched you walk right out the door. All right, let's go back in here and see about it. Let's go back in here and see about it. Okay. You want to get? You want the merchandise? Do you want the merchandise? Here, you you get it. Hold it. You. There you go. Thank you. Don't go nowhere with my Come here. What that receipt say? What that receipt say? What what do the receipt say? What do this receipt say? Give me my damn food. Man, give me my damn food. Man, the fuck with you. Karen, we got a Karen in here. Uh-huh. My paid for Check your camera. Yeah, we check will check the camera. Yeah, check it. Check the camera. What happened, ma'am? Did I pay for my food? What the hell are you talking about? Okay. 
Yeah. Take that mask off. Let me see your face. We got a Karen over here. Did not did, did hey did you rain this up? Did you rain these up? Yep, right here. go right here. Check your camera, man. Check your camera. Check your camera. Let's check your vehicle. Check your camera. Who what you say? Check my vehicle. I think you're a thief. You do? Yeah. Yeah, I think you a How about that? Can I get an amen? Yeah. Little stink. <laughs> Let's thank it. Hey, where the camera where the camera people at? Did I steal something? Y'all done ran the camera back already. Did I steal something? Did I steal something? And everybody in here that don't like what I'm doing, suck my dick. That's what you do. Everybody in here that think I stole something, suck my dick. Suck my dick. Pussy ass I let y'all be around here. This gonna be here next week. That was very interesting, considering that the... I don't care about the female worker who started all this. She doesn't matter. Not what I care about. The guy behind the register, as well as the person being served by that guy behind the register, both say that he did go through the register, buy these prawns, leave the store, but then came back in and then left the store with prawns in his hand again without going through the registers. Now, it could just be assumed that he had the prawns in his hands when he came back in. He just, they weren't exactly easy to spot because they were down by a side or something on those lines, so it could be easy to very very easy to miss and so i can believe that these two people may believe that hey he maybe did come in and grab more prawns and potentially stole them but i think a very simple thing here these looks like they're prawns to be you get grab an amount you put in the bag you weigh it up and you grab a tag usually at least here in australia anything that's got any form of weight information about its price usually it's got that on the receipt so you can easily match the items on the receipt to the versions of the product you've got so let's say you got a bag of you got two bags of prawns one of them is a 1.2 kilo bag that was worth about four dollars the other one is a 500 gram bag that was worth about two dollars this is severely undercutting actual price of prawns i know this is an example and you can easily match that up to the bag because the bag will also have the label saying hey it is 500 grams of prawn that's worth two dollars and this bag's got 1.2 kilos of prawns that's worth four dollars and problem solved i don't think the guy gave a proper chance to look at the receipt to everyone else but at the same time I don't think he stole it like he probably just walked back in forgetting something and then walking back out anyway and realizing oh maybe I didn't which is interesting to say at least but ultimately what's the problem with that in this next clip we got a Karen who's a little bit unhappy with their uber Seriously, press charges no no no, no. Press let charges. him go yeah, yeah. press charges can no, you call 911 please she's getting yeah, call 911 oh yeah let him go call 911 I want my shirt and go home. Oh, 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 seriously? Yeah, seriously, yeah, get some help. Seriously? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Call 911. Yeah, call 911. Angie, look, there's a, they're gonna cop from there. There's a police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna cop from there. For real? Yeah. Hurry, though, there's someone there.
myself in Miami. She attacked me. She's busy. She's getting money. She I'm a attacking. five foot girl. Yes. That weighs a hundred pounds. I'm getting really like belligerent right vehicle. now. So. She's I don't know, I don't know, she, she... Well, yeah, she attacked me, she, I had bruises all over me. Yeah, she's like destroying I'm attacking my vehicle. you. She's, she's like, you have bruises she's, all she's over you. She's destroying my car right now. She's yes, please, yes. I don't want to help me yet. Holy shit. What are you doing? Bro, you yes, lost your mind. I have lost my mind. What? Oh, it's scissors. Oh, no. I don't want to get Holy shit. You need a police officer. She's throwing scissors. She's just hitting me with the scissors. Right behind you. Talk to them? Look at I got hit with a scissor. Oh my god, an oh iPhone. Look, your iPhone. Oh my gosh, that's destruction of property. You're crazy, dude. Oh my god, this is crazy. She took out his side mirror. His mirror. I guess I'll see the crime scene. Good night. Oh my god. Oh shit. Bro, so rough. She must have just been either high out of her mind or so damn drunk she didn't even realize what was happening. One of the two. Or maybe she is just simply a lunatic. That could be in the cards. That's a possibility. <laughs> Good god, why are people like this? So here we have a Karen who uh, is doing something in a pedicle that you don't do. I'm not 100% sure or anything happens beforehand. Apparently she was on her phone and this guy wasn't happy that she was. So this guy starts recording her and when that happens she has a full on meltdown. Here, let's call 911. And let's just get it over with because you're harassing me for no reason telling me not to be on the phone. Here, I'm recording you too. How you like it? Recording you too. You like it? Keep recording. Go ahead, keep recording. Is it nice because you bother your customer that I've been coming here for so long? Telling me not, not to be on the phone? I, I, I don't know about that, sorry. Well, it's either he goes or I go, so what you say? No, no, you, you got that sit No, it's either he goes or I go. No, no, just sit there. And I've been coming here for years. So it's either he goes or I go, so what is it? I'm your customer, my daughter's is your customer, so who's gonna go, me or him? I've been coming here for five years. It's either him or me. But it's either he's gonna go or I'm gonna go. Because he bothered me for no reason. He harassed me for no reason, telling me for me to get off of my phone, for me not to talk on the phone. Okay, then I guess I'm gonna go. Oh no, oh no. No. Keep recording, sissy. Keep recording, because you probably wish you had a cut like me, right? Right? Keep recording. I should show you my uh, parts. Sissy, queer. Eat my f Eat it. How's that? Queer. Queer, because you want to. I'm being completely honest, I've never had a pedicure before, so I have no idea how one of these things is supposed to operate. Is it wrong to be on your phone on a phone call whilst having one? Is that bad or whatever she was supposedly doing? I don't know, I guess you guys will let me know in the comments, but the other part to it, I find it so funny that she was trying to get what she wants, trying to get things done her way by like, I have an issue with this, you need to get rid of this guy or I will go. 
He's clearly not really doing anything aside from recording my wacky behavior, but I have massive issues with everything that's now happening and you must get rid of him, otherwise I will go. I've been a customer for many, many years. Like, that's gonna change anything. Who cares how long you've been going to that place for? Who cares how long you've been a customer there for? If you're being a complete and utter asshole about it, no one's going to care beyond that point. And I love how when you don't get your way, you start to leave, and then you just start trying to use every word in the book to insult the guy who was recording you. Like, ma'am, you've just turned to be the most horrible person, and I'm pretty sure these staff members will be happy to never see you again. In the next clip, we got the weirdest interaction I think I've ever seen. A Karen or someone decided to flag this guy down, then we have this beautiful interaction. My consent. That's your consent. Yeah. Um, do you mind telling me why you stopped me? Um, okay, so you just stopped me and called me. Consent. You just you stopped me, you flagged me incorrect. down in the street. Incorrect. You flagged me down incorrect. in the street. Incorrect. 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 Shut up. Watch your mouth. I did second what? Time. What are you talking about? Watch your mouth second time. I didn't call you. Okay, you said I'm a slut. You've, we've never met, right? Say sorry. Why am I going to say sorry? Because you said I called you whore. Well, you've called me a slut, so I don't really need to apologise, do I? Whore, whore, you will. No, I won't. Yes, you will. No, I'm going to I'm gonna end the conversation. I said to you about ending this conversation because... Oh. What on earth are you doing? I need you to my feet. No, no. Are you... What on earth are you doing? What's that about? Do you feel I better now? It's the water, it's not the wine, so it's going to get dry. Don't worry. Okay. It's just the wine. You're um, they're, you're obviously not well. Obviously upset about. You're upset about something, but so the person you're ups, but the person you're upset at, your person you're upset at is not me. So. Yeah, time. What? Time doesn't exist. Okay. What? What? What is the? You talk too much. That's okay. Your Why did you stop me? You talk too much. That's your problem. I could be really rude to you, but I'm not. I'm being very polite because you're obviously upset about Sorry something. About this. I'll be sorry about it. Yes, you will be. Okay, well, I'm going to have to ask you. Excuse me. Here, hold it. Excuse me. Hold Could you come and help me, please? Hold this. Uh, hold no, no, no. I'm vi Excuse me. This lady's um this. attacking me. I've never met her in my life, and I, I really want to leave. But I've started filming because she won't leave me alone. She just picked up a bottle of water in my car and tipped it all over my car. Um, I'd like to drive away, but if I drive away, I, I'm a bit concerned that she might become some sort of injury as I leave with the vehicle. So, is there any you chance you could? And then you will go up from it, Don't shit yourself. Just hold the bottle. No, no. Hold the fucking bottle. Don't be. Bottle. Nah, listen, I could switch on hold you, but I'm not bottle. that type of person. For your problem. My problem is you. Hold the bottle. We've never met. Hold the bottle. We've never met. Okay, I've got whole day. Well, I haven't. I'm going to drive so off, I've asked these, these nice people to that keep an eye on you, uh, you're, you're, in, you're, in you you're in danger of injuring yourself, you're in danger of injuring yourself as I leave, have a nice day, thank you very much for helping, the lady obviously clearly needs help, Thanks. thank you. I honestly just love this guy's vibe, just cool, calm and collected. This person just grabbed a random water bottle from your car and then just poured it all over your seat. Cool, calm and collected. You're not going to lose your shit. You're going to keep your cool. You're going to just try and get someone else from around the area just to kind of get her just to move away from the car so you can drive away and move on with your day. Good on you, bro. Like... I, I genuinely don't think I would have personally been able to remain that calm after she decides to start pulling her hand into my car to grab something. I think that'd be the point where I'd just be a little bit annoyed, but that's just me. What about you guys? Where would, what point in this clip do you think you would snap? Let me know in the comments below. In this clip, we got a Karen who's extremely upset that a contractor parked on the street in front of her house. I can arrange that. Then do it. Blocking then, then, he's blocking the mail. No, I'm not. It's you open. You don't even get mail. You don't even get mail. Lanta? Sure, it already has come. I've already gotten the mail. You're just you you're trying to make an issue. There's no issue. No, it's been two months, Tracy. There's not one. Two has months. Has anybody parked two in front months. of your house? I've parked and I've said nothing and I've been really nice. Nobody okay. has parked okay. in front okay. of your house. If you're allowing to speak, then it's fine. No, because, because you're being, you're being off unreasonable. Off you're no, you told me you were going to go get... You told me you were gonna go get your gun. I heard, no, sh I heard he put you on voice on speaker, and I heard all of your language. And that is, I didn't say you don't treat no. people that way. I told you, you don't, don't treat people that way. No, he's okay, what did I not say? hurting anything. What you, did I say? You said your mother. No, I did not. Yeah, I'm gonna just now. I'm gonna just now, when he got in my face. 
Because you're grabbing, my you're grabbing my stuff and touching it. Based on my property. I wasn't on your property. Calm down. This is the street. Calm down. And you're touching my stuff. Calm down. Yeah, well, you're blocking where my, this is my only parking place. No, no, this you isn't. Have, you have all this and all that. Okay. Okay. No, well, yeah. Tracy, I'll just park my cars here. You I'll can. I'll tell my friends. You, you I'll leave the trash. Can. I won't be a good no, neighbor. Nobody's leaving okay? trash. If, if your contractors don't want to be good neighbors, then that's fine. That's just perfectly fine. Nobody's been rude. I'm a good neighbor. Nobody's left a mess. We have been nothing but good and kind no, neighbors to you. No, they left a bunch of dirt. If you cleaned up early at your house and you you needed parking, your people are allowed to park. No, I understand that. Time. So if they I understand that. that. But they're there. not allowed to be rude to me. And he was rude when I asked. Huh. Nice. And you're rude. I'm done. I'm done. But you're being No. You're no. being unreasonable. This has been here for two hours. And he's and putting all stuff I did in for me. Ask. For us. For and our house. Okay. And your house. house is right there. Absolutely. It's my Absolutely. Contract. But guess what? Parking, I wouldn't come over and have oh them dumped gosh. here. Okay. But you're being. You're being. Thing. It's going Tracy. to be here for a couple of hours. That's it. It's fine. But listen. What wasn't fine was the manner in which he treated me. And I will handle it legally. And it's fine. <laughs> legally. He has a license. It can be reported in California. My best yeah, friends okay. are contractors. Let's, hey, let's hey, step back hey. and build high rises. Hey. Let's, let's step back and think about what you're arguing about. Somebody I'm is not parked arguing about on, it. No, 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 listen. But this is what you're arguing about. Okay, first of all, he has no mask on. He's working and he shouldn't be. He's okay. Who is your mask? Let's My mask, I sell them and they're in the house. house. Let's get back on track. What you're getting us so upset about. I don't need an arbitrator, okay? I got do. a federal arbitrator to the port of Long Beach, okay, Tracy? What? I don't need some dude to tell me who I am, what I am. And when I ask nicely, do you mind, would you please move your truck? If Where's he, he going to put it? If he would, right here, in front of your house. Oh, my gosh. No, but then you'd get upset that he's too close Why? to the stop sign. Because what? you've told my family members. No, I have that not. I've come. No, Lee. No, I have Lee. not. Don't put words there, in my no. mouth. I'm done. I'm done. Okay, <laughs> have a good day. I, I, you I, just no, shouldn't. I will have no Don't one. let it ruin your day. Do, do, do me a favor. Do me a favor. Call Corona PD. I don't need to call Corona. Well, if it's such an issue with my license, let them come. Then let them come. I will go to the state. The state. Oh. They have a lot of go going on. They're not going to worry about a trailer being parked in front of somebody's gonna, house that their trash is going the into. Nothing to do with the trailer. Oh, your hurt feelings? But it has to do okay. with the manner okay. in which you talked back at me when I asked so nicely. So nicely. I came over and I said, would it be okay? I only have one parking place. I do have But you don't ever seat. have somebody. There's never yes, any other cars here. Yes, I do, Tracy. You don't see them. Never. I'm yes. home all day. I don't go anywhere because my kids are getting homeschooled right now. I never see, other than your brother, who parks right here. My I never, I know, but that's the only people I ever see. I only ever see well, that that's all car. you've seen. Because they, I've been here for seven years and I've never seen cars in your house. So you're the you're, same girl you, it's not real. over and pick samples up to take to and look at, you have a beautiful driveway. Park right there, get her stuff, and she leaves. Tracy, I really here. don't need park you right to here. tell me where no, I can but park. I know, it's but my you're making my house. Keep in mind, this is my house, okay? That is your house. That's all I was saying. And I asked him nicely until he got in my face. This is a public street and he's not blocking a driveway. Just he's leave it! Walking. I already said leave it! So my initial thoughts on this was like, why didn't the contractor just park on in front of the house that he's doing work on? But then we hear later on in this clip, according to the neighbor, according to the person whose house is having contracted work done, she's complained about her family parking near the stop sign that's on her side of the road before. So I guess it's understandable why the contractor parked there in the first place. And secondly, it's on the street. It's not on the nature strip, it's not on the footpath, and it's not in front of your driveway or on it. In most terms, you really can't do shit about it. You can complain about it, but unless it's a big, massive truck that is there continuously, like something that's there consistently, I don't think there's really literally anything you can do about it. Because on the technicalities, and I did research this, the footpath out to the street is whilst technically you should be the one maintaining it in some places, it is not your property, it is under the municipality of the city or whatever you live at. It's public property, effectively. <laughs> 
Either way, a funny-ass argument over this and she was losing her mind. I, I find it funny how she tried to pull the mask argument at some point. It's like, oh, he's not even wearing a mask. It's like, honey, you're not either. The fuck you want about about this mask thing? If you're not wearing one, you're going to complain about someone else not wearing one when they're doing garden work, I'm assuming, based upon the big fat trailer for probably garden-related shenanigans, any form of foliage and crap. It, it's just like, why? It's a convoluted mess that, what was the point having a five-minute argument over a vehicle that's probably only going to be parked there for a few hours that day? Next up, we got Car Park Karen. <laughs> Yo! Run, bro! Hey, okay, guys, cool. Keep going. <laughs> Damn, bro. You guys, what? You know, this Karen mustn't have much to do in her average day-to-day -day when she's willing to spend time chasing kids around who are just skateboarding around a car park area. I know it might not be uh, the best thing to be doing, but just in that moment, just call the cops and move on with your day. Like, it's not worth it. Come on. You're just giving them free content at this point. Here we've got a pair of kids who are doing spot fishing into this lake that is apparently within some private property. They didn't know that. Like, the lake's meant to be private property, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, some of the people who are living there decide to cause a confrontation call the cops and do a bunch of other crazy things. Here's a clip. Away from just him. sit down and because wait for the police. Because he kept approaching us. We were sit just walking down. away. Hey, I don't want to hear it. Just sit down and wait for the police. You all right? Perfectly Ryan, fine. Good. Are you with them? No, no. 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 Okay. We were just trying to explain it because he was telling them to record us. This dude got all aggressive because we were fishing the lake over here, approached me. I told him to scoot back. He wouldn't, I got it on video, he turned off the camera, and then he ran at me, so I socked his ass. He hit me too, and he hit he me back too. up. No, back hey, up. Hey, 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 back off. I'm about to stand. No, you can't. Sock the f*** out of you, honey. I am so done with you. Hey, 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 hey. No, don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because then you'll be at fault. So just stay over there. He's going to jail. Okay, just... Just stay over there, okay? You want to tell your dad a slide? I did. Oh, I was about to say, we're going to have to dance. You guys just sit down here. Yeah. I'd rather stand, but I'll be right here. See, we got a lot of people that are on your buddy. Way too many. And they, yeah, but apparently after you left, they had an incident with this guy and they hit him. Can I explain to you guys what happened real quick? Okay. You can explain, but you still yeah. need to sit down right, no, over there I'm gonna and wait for the this police. Dude keeps we'll I'm right right a, a picture. There's no Understand. Good. Good. Okay, good. So we're going to take a picture of that. Take a picture of that. And she came out and she was like, she was just saying stuff like, pick up your stuff, yada, yada, like, trying to be a can. I was like, I know how to fish, First man. First of all, guys, you. I got to tell you something. You can't be fishing over there. That's private property. Oh, we didn't know that. We seen yeah, that Google Maps. This is all private property. You gotta go and have a permit to fish off the off the air. I think it says a lot about the old guy there that he continues to attempt to approach the kids over and over again, despite being clearly told by this other person to stop doing that, to just leave them alone and move on and stay away until the cops get here. But it it, sh it says a lot that he just keeps doing it over and over again, whilst the kids continue to stay in the same area aside from when they're trying to walk away from the old guy who's continuously coming up to them. It, it just seems to be like one of those cases. I hope that they made the person, I'm assuming that was a security guard or something, made it clear to the police what exactly was happening whilst he was here watching, that the old guy kept attempting to approach the kids despite being told to leave them alone on multiple occasions. Because to me, that just throws a couple of red flags. Like, yeah, you might assume that the kids are clearly in the wrong in the situation, but from not knowing what actually happened but then watching this old guy continuously attempt to approach the kids in very uh hostile forms and ways to try and get the kids to do some form of reaction it clearly states that what the kids are saying might have a very high level of truth to it that the guy decided to approach them in a very aggressive way which led to the kids hitting him it, yeah I, I wouldn't be too surprised to be honest